For the last video in this class, we are going to be making these flower studs. We will be wrapping the wire around to create five loops and then create the post. We're going to keep using that silver plated copper wire in 20 gauge, but feel free to use gold or copper as I did here. I didn't mention these before, but you're going to need these earring backs for when your earrings are all finished and you wear them. Again, we have our ruler for measuring the post length. And we have the file to smooth the end of the posts down. We will be using all four pliers, the wire cutters, the straighteners, the flat nose pliers, and the needle nose pliers. And you know what we're going to start off with? That's right, we're going to pull out the wire and we're going to straighten it. So we're going to take our wire straighteners and smooth out that wire. And while it's not absolutely necessary to always straighten your wire, it definitely helps to give the finished earring a clean look. Leaving the wire on the spool, we are going to create a small bend at the end of the wire. Holding it in the tip of the pliers, we are going to give it a few small twists to create a teardrop shape. And now we have our first teardrop petal shape. To create the second loop, I'm going to place my pliers into the first petal and give it a small bend. And then I'm going to leave a small space between the pliers and the first loop. And then I'm going to bend that wire around, creating a loop, bending it over the top of the first loop. Now I'm going to repeat this to make the third petal. Create a small bend, then leave a space, and wrap the wire over the previous two petals. When you are wrapping the wire around, don't pull it too far past to create a circle, but more of around and down to create the teardrop. Now for the fourth petal, we are going to do the same thing except when we wrap the wire around, we are going to wrap it underneath the previous petals. So we're going to make a bend, leave a space, and then wrap the wire in a loop around underneath the first three petals. The final petal will be the same as the fourth. Make a small bend, Leave a space, wrap the wire, and wrap it underneath the other petals. As I'm doing here, you can adjust and readjust the loops as you go along to make that flower into the shape that you want it to be. Now that we have the flower made, we are going to create the post. For this, we will be using the flat nose pliers. And I'm going to take them and hold the last petal that we made, the final petal where the spool is attached to. And I'm going to pinch that petal in my flat nose pliers and bend that long wire straight down to create the post of the earring. Now we're going to take the ruler and put our earring on it and measure the post to a half inch and cut it off there. Then we'll take the file and smooth down the end of the post. Before our last step, you can go back and adjust the flower shape a few more times if you need to. Lastly, we are going to tighten the whole design using the plastic covered pliers, squeezing it gently to flatten down the flower and make sure that the post is square to the flower shape. And there we have our finished flower studs.